Now I'll show you how to enable developer mode in Windows 10. You're going to click on your start button, go up to the gear icon, settings, click there, go update and security, you double click on that. And then we have on the left hand side near the bottom here four developers. You want to click on there. And then here we have our developer mode area. And of course, to begin, we want to turn that on and it's going to give us the warning turning on developer mode including installing and running apps from outside the microsoft store could expose your device and personal data to security risks or harm your device we know all that so let's go ahead and say yes and then uh, you know if you're debugging you're using visual studio and what have you uh, we want to turn on the device portal bit for remote diagnostics thinking about that it is installing the Windows developer mode package and once it's installed that bit uh, it has turned on the remote diagnostics and it has also turned on authentication so if you want to use a password and username to help secure this kind of activity you can go ahead and Put that kind of thing in and press apply. Let's say yes to that. There we go. And uh, let's see here we have some information about uh, which Ethernet connection is being used, the, uh, the local host address. And um, the last item here is device discovery. Uh, make your device visible to USB connections and your local network. So we want to turn that on as well if we're doing, uh, you know, heavy duty development. And uh, it does note that this requires version 1803 of the Windows 10 SDK or later. All right. And um, we do have a notice here that to pair with a device, we would need to restart Windows first. All right. And there's a few other settings down here under File Explorer to uh, allow a more developer-friendly experience in File Explorer, uh, showing hidden and system files, full path in the title bar, uh, run as a different user in start, and uh, change settings to show empty drives, right? So basically, it gives you uh, a more visible experience. It's not doing the uh, so-called friendly thing of hiding a whole bunch of stuff from you. When you're a developer, you're, a developer, you're expected to know more about uh, what you're doing and what's going on and require more information, right? So we can hit apply to make sure that all of these things are applied. And of course, as suggested by this note here, go ahead and restart your computer and you should be well on your way to uh, developing in Windows 10.